color area tool is used to check the amount of a specified color in your image. It counts the number of pixels of the specified color in the target and compares that to the number of specified pixels in the master image. It then judges whether a target is okay or no good by the matching rate. Note that if you are using a monochrome type camera, this will be called the area tool and it will be based off of a specified brightness instead. Let's go through an example. I'm going to use this color area simulator file to walk through step by step how to set up a color area tool. In my example, I have this part with one orange o-ring and I want to verify that it is in fact just one o-ring, that there is not two present and that uh, they are not missing or zero present. So with that being said, let's jump into the sensor settings. Because I already have a master image saved, I can jump to step three, my tool settings. I'm going to hit add tool, go to my color tools, and then select color area. You'll notice it gives me a box on my screen and this is just my tool window. I can also make this a circle or I can make it the entire field of view if I want to just look for a specified color within this entire area. But for my example, I'm going to specify a rectangle because my part will always be in this general area. And so the color I'm looking for will always be within this window. Next, I need to extract the color I'm looking for, which in this case is the orange O-ring. So you can click on the image and you'll notice it starts to highlight the pixels green. This is just visually showing me which pixels are selected and what color is selected. For minor adjustments, you can hit the plus button and the minus button if you want to narrow in the color range. You can also hit the exclude and click on the image if you want to exclude specific pixels. But in my case, I want to select pretty much the entire O-ring like this and I'll hit OK. The last thing is the limit adjustment or the matching rate. So this is what will determine a good part from a bad part. By default, it is at 50%, uh, meaning if my live target had 50% or more of the number of highlighted pixels here, that would be a good part. If it has less than 50%, that would be considered a bad part. You can also specify an upper limit if it's possible to have too much of a certain color, like it is in my case. Um, I'm going to change this to about 115. I'll move this up to 75. And so now my good part is anything with a 75 to 115 percent matching rate. At this point, I'm ready to complete my program and go into run mode, but I'm going to hop into the extended functions just to go over the advanced color extraction settings. You can see here that you are able to specify your color based off of the hue, saturation, and brightness in this setting. So you can either type in the specific values or you can use the graph to expand or narrow the color range that you want to select. This might be helpful if it's very difficult to click on the master image, um, to extract the pixels or if you have a very narrow range to allow. So I'm going to leave it as is. In my case, it was simple to select from the master image. So I'm going to hit OK there, close out and finish my program. At this point, we're ready to test out how this tool would work if my IV3 were operating. So I'm going to go into operation simulation. And you can see I have some pre-saved images in my program. As I click on these images, it will use the tool that I just set up to judge these images. So in this case, you can see I have a good part with one orange O-ring. With no O-rings, no I get a matching rate of 0% and it is a bad part. Again, I have one O-ring. This is a good part. It just happens to be on the bottom instead of the top of my part. And here you can see I have double O-rings. I get a matching rate of 200% because there are double the amount of pix orange pixels, and this is a no good part.
And then again, I have a good part. So I hope this video helped explain how to use the color area tool and how to set it up. But if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Keyence Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.